<clears throat> okay guys, girls, everybody. Uh got my new uh double fan uh pulse motor. Time out. Okay, I know you guys asked for that schematic for the original fan motor and I didn't have time to do it and I probably won't, so I'm going to post some high resolution photos along with um description of parts and you guys have to trace it down yourself. Uh sorry for the inconvenience. Back to the show. Modification here. What I've done is taking a fan like this. This was a 24 volt fan, but it's also 12. You can do either. Um, the coils are 100 ohm resistance each one, and basically it's connected directly to this uh, uh, Hall effect sensor. Now this is actually a fan driver chip, which uh, a lot of fans have in them. It's just the uh, the chip itself. Some don't, so this modification only work on certain ones. But it gives you the principle and the diagram so you can try other things. Um, so basically, this chip, let's see if I can just focus in on it. That's what it looks like. It's a US91. The other numbers don't mean anything. Um, it's a US91. You can actually look that data sheet up. That's how I uh, figured this one out. On the other side, it has uh, these numbers. But basically, what I've done is I've unsoldered it from this board which was another one of those fans so there it is missing and yes it's really fun to solder you can just break the board off here and solder your connections to the board it'd be a lot easier um, I happened to actually solder it and I heat shrinked it in here um, that's what I did it was tedious work and uh, probably almost burned the chip up getting it too hot so <clears throat> you'd be better off breaking the board off or just don't even break it just use, use the whole thing unsolder the coil Use the rest of the diodes on there already. Okay, so this has nothing else on it. <clears throat> no other components besides a diode for reverse uh, polarity in case you hook it up backwards. So the chip uh, in the original fan circuit looks like this. There's four pins on this hall sensor slash fan driver uh, chip. Uh, like I said, it's a US91. You can look up the data sheet. Uh, it's got a ground. And it's got a uh, positive where the two coils are on the fan. And it's got a uh, place for a tachometer or a function generator or something like that. You can check the, uh, check the output on it. Um, this one isn't being used um, as far as that point. Now basically this gets its power through the coil here, which is kind of interesting. Um, so one of these is always energized to, get, uh, to have this chip have power. Which is kind of weird. I, actually, at the first time I did this stuff, I thought one of these pins was for... Uh, you know, power, ground, and then your two outputs, but it's not. So look this data sheet up for more information on that. Now here's what I have done. I will post this schematic on the uh, the information on this. You'll just have to save it. It'll just be a picture. Um, so basically what I've done is taken the chip, and I've put 150 ohm resistors where the coils used to be. By the way, it still thinks, the chip still thinks there's a fan there, although I'm just using the signals now. And then I've ran, uh, I've uh, paralleled two LEDs across here with 330 ohm resistors. And these LEDs are from my indication, but what I found out is that uh, this circuit won't work without the LEDs. So I think it has something to do with uh, uh, canceling out the, the ground there. It's actually like a pull-up resistor or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I know the circuit works. It's all that I care about right this moment. The other thing I did was uh, a PNP. Uh, MOSFET. These are uh, IRFZ44. They're right here. So, yeah. This camera is not focusing today. What's the deal? There you go. So that's what this chip looks like. You can look up the data sheet for it if you'd like. Um, basically, all I've got is uh, those also paralleled. So my uh, MOSFETs are paralleled with my LEDs with my outputs on my uh, fan driver chip, which is a whole effect sensor as well. Um, this actually has an automatic start in it. It has overload protection. It has um, probably a speed control on it where it only goes so fast. All those things are regulated in this IC chip. It is a tiny, tiny chip. So it's more than just a Hall effect sensor. This is actually a fan driver chip. Just take that into consideration if you build these on your own. Um, so basically I've got the um, the MOSFETs hooked up here 
And basically when this turns on, the MOSFETs are on because it's a uh, in channel. So um, the source is grounded, the drain is connected to my coils. Um, if you look at this the way I have it written, it's L1-1 and L2-2. And then on the bottom it's L2-2 and L2-1. Now the reason I did that is because you have to reverse polarity on one of these or else this won't function properly. Um, you want one to pull positive and one to pull negative against that uh, uh, magnet. Now I've got a protection diode on here. I don't know if it's needed, but it'll catch some of the uh, uh, back EMF maybe into the system. Uh, these um, MOSFETs, I believe, had protection over them. If they don't, you'll have to put a diode across um, the drain and source, I believe, or somewhere in there. Figure that out. But I believe these have protection. If they don't, they're still functioning. <laughs> so here's my circuit. It's very simple. Uh, this gray wire is uh, my Hall effect sensor. As you can see, I got one output going into uh, my uh, LED and my 100 ohm, or uh, actually, I wrote that wrong 150 ohm resistor. I'm sorry. So the low is originally 100, I put 150. These actually do get kind of warm, so you may even up it or put a different uh, wattage resistor in there. <clears throat> Basically, uh, this LED turns on and off when my circuit's on and off uh, and turns my MOSFET on and off. They're all just tied together in parallel. So it's nothing special. Again, I had to use the LEDs or else it didn't run right. I tried to take them out and it wouldn't work. Not sure what the deal is there. So on my other side of my uh, my rodent coil here, I've got one output from each MOSFET as drawn in the schematic right there. And then they both come back and go into uh, the same spot. As you can see, I have the polarity reversed, so remember to do that. And then uh, the diode here, which, again, I don't know if is needed, but I put it in there anyway. Uh, the diode's just a generic, I think it's like 4001. Um, no big deal there. I'll go ahead and spin this up. I'm running on 12 volt right now. You can run this on 24. The fan chip will allow it. So I'll go ahead and hook it in. I'm going to take the magnet away. I'm going to show you guys something. This fan driver circuit is automatic as far as trying to turn it on. So you can see, well, one is on and one is off. One is flashing. Let me see real quick if I can get this to run just to make sure it works. Oh, it does. I got my LED in backwards. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this magnet away. Now, as you can tell, uh, one is steady and one is flashing. And that is because it's trying to automatically start. It's trying to turn off a coil so it energizes and turns. Um, so if you get this magnet close and you hit the right polarity, you'll see they switch. Okay? Now it's trying to do the opposite. Now it's trying to force the other one on. Say I'm on north instead of south. South instead of north. Hope you all understand that one. Let's fire it up. Okay, like I said, it should be automatic starting. There it goes. Now, if you watch the LEDs, they actually kind of flicker. If I take this away and spin it around, it kind of tries to make up. Uh, basically, it's saying I'm overloaded or something, and it tries to make it up by uh, reversing the polarity. Yeah, this works pretty well. Again, I'll post this schematic on uh, the description. You can download it there. But, uh, no worries. There, it's flashing like it's trying to start. I knocked the sensor away. So again, just another cool fan modification you can try out. Um, I'm still working on a complete modification for a fan directly with different units. This is actually the driver chip itself in here, which is the hall sensor. Works pretty well.
I got my frequency meter connected to the uh, drain on one of my MOSFETs. Climbing up on 3000 hertz. So it's going 3000 RPM. But yeah, it works pretty well. I'll go ahead and disconnect it. Whole coil is about to fall off the table. Alright, well, that's it. Um, yeah, my next video I'll be uploading here shortly, I believe. Um, and that will be my uh, uh, slinky coils with my uh, high voltage toroidal wound coils inside of them. It's cool. Alright, so uh, I hope that was enough information. Got any questions? Let me know. Definitely leave a comment if you like it, even if you don't. I can take it. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.